And our next guest here on Beyond the Riff right now is also from the U.K. We'll be talking with Matt McKay from the U.K.'s Meltdown Retreat. Matt, welcome to Beyond the Riff. Hi there. How's it going? We're doing great, man. It's good to talk to you. And uh, we're looking forward to sharing uh, what Meltdown's all about with the uh, U.S. audience that's listening right now here live on Beyond the Riff. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. It's really, it's really cool to be here. Yeah, well, just uh, just tell us a little bit about Meltdown, Matt, if you would. Okay, uh, well, where to start, really? It's been um, Meltdown's been going for about 23 years. Um, it's it's happened every year annually, obviously, um, but we had one year off um, where God decided to shut shut Meltdown um, Meltdown down um, for a year, and then we started back up again. So it's ran. We've had 22 um, events, and it's been like I said, been running for 23 years. Um, and Meltdown, Meltdown started really um, back in the 80s when uh, Dave Williams, who is the founder of Meltdown, he was uh, he was sat in the back of his church, um, and he was feeling a little bit sort of, uh, I guess, rejected. I suppose would be the word um, by the church because obviously, um, you know, back in the 80s, the church probably wasn't as understanding of Christian hard music or heavy music, um, and couldn't really, I guess, the church couldn't really get its head around how something so energetic i guess that they must have seen it as aggressive could be um could be something that god could really use um so he was sat at the back of his church and and uh god told him to start a uh christian metal band now he dave by no stretch of the imagination is there uh, is a musician he'll he'll admit to that but he um so he 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 felt that he should put together a band um put together some musicians and he started touring that band um and then ever since then he's been um he basically put on a load of bands um throughout the 80s including blue good white cross um leviticus altar boys um res band which is glenn kaiser's band if you're aware of glenn kaiser so he he was basically um he started the christian um sort of i guess heavy hard music movement or he was a part of that at least anyway um and he really brought that to the uk um, so I, I consider Dave to be like the founding father of that of that particular movement, and uh, and so after obviously working with all these bands, um, he he recognised there was a real need for um, for somewhere for the for the fans of this music to go because the churches just weren't really as welcoming um, as they should have been. So they so Dave uh, decided to set up Meltdown. Um, I don't really know what the origin behind the name Meltdown is. I don't think there even is one. I think it was just a cool name that Dave uh, came up with. Yeah, um, I did. But uh, so yeah, then, then then that just really kicked it off, really. And it was a really, it, it just started off as a really small event once a year, um, where people could go and not feel judged or anything like that for liking the music they were into, and they could you know encounter God and have great fellowship with each other at the same time. That's cool. Now, did I read right? The event is free. Uh no. Um oh, okay. it isn't free. I think it may have initially started out that way. Um but okay. because basically melt meltdown uh the, the ministry itself is uh it's a non profitable organization, so we anyone who works with Meltdown doesn't take a, a penny mm -hmm. uh from from the actual organization. But uh and because of that then we need in order to hire out the venues that we use, um and the venues have changed over the years. Um, but right now we're in uh, the Keffin Lee Centre, which is in Wales. Um, originally it was in, uh, I think, I can't remember the original one, but I know that uh, for a long time it was at the Quinter Centre. And then Dave uh, Dave was, uh, Dave was felt that God was asking, you know, telling him to move. But uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't want to do it for a while and sort of resisted. But uh, eventually God shut it down and then uh, and, and Dave realised that we had to move. So we're now at the Keffin Lee Centre. Um, but we, we can't afford to hire the centre and then also... Um, do what we need to do um, for free. So we do, we do, um, we do have a cost for for people to attend meltdown. Um, but in that cost, you get all the um, you get all your accommodation sorted. You get three square meals a day included in the price. So it's full board accommodation and it's 110 pounds. Um, prices do vary for concessions and stuff like that. I think it's uh, off the top of my head. I think it's about 75 pounds or something like that for for for, for the young for some younger people. Um, but um, but so, so it's not quite free. Um, we do, however, hold a conference um, for bands and musicians looking to start a ministry. 
um, you know, whether or not that any any kind of band, it doesn't even have to be band. It can be anybody that's involved involved with Christian music scene. Um, so crew, roadies, promoters, anything like that. And basically, the Indian conference is free, and that's a, that's a day. Um, it used to be a weekend. We've consolidated it into a day now. Um, where everybody can come together and have um, some great teaching. We had Michael Bloodgood this year um, as a guest speaker. The uh, I believe is a guitarist from from Bloodgood. Um, and he was a guest seminar, and that's a free event where people can come and get teaching and help with uh, with sort of getting their ministry, um, get the ball rolling with that. Um, so yeah. Okay, I apologize. I think it was the In Tune conference I I was thinking about. So, uh, but yeah, that that's cool too. The In Tune conference that you have. That's that's a great uh, great thing your guys are doing with uh, uh, this cultural type outreach. Uh, that's a great ministry to have, you know. And, and uh, Matt. You know, Mike and I on Beyond the Riff have heard this story ad, ad nauseum about uh, people that like heavy music like ourselves here on Beyond the Riff today uh, uh, being shunned by the church, you know, and not being ministered to properly, or the church just not knowing what to do with people like that. But, uh, you know, uh, a person who likes energetic, bombastic, aggressive music uh, sometimes finds uh, no friends in the church, unfortunately. So it's great you guys have this outreach to make people feel at home because the thing about it is really, is in a nutshell, is that you know the the method of delivering the gospel may change, but the message stays the same. Absolutely. And so so it, there's a lot of value in what you guys are doing with Meltdown. Oh yeah, I've, I've, absolutely. I mean, it's it's something that I felt uh, before I came to the church that I'm at now. Um, I was totally into the music scene, and um, I, I you know I was I, I was I was raised a Christian, but um never really sort of took my faith seriously or anything like that. Um, so when I did come to church, I really didn't feel like I, I fit in very well, other than the fact that I had two two friends who uh, were into the same music in, as me. So um, whilst the church may not have really understood that, I definitely had a few people beside me who were who, who were into the same same thing. And I have a very good friend of mine who I was in a band with before I came to the church um, for for a couple of years as well. So that so that was very cool. But I, um, you know, I definitely I definitely could see that there were there were kids in churches, um, not just the church I was in, but, um, but kids all over who were into the same kind of stuff. But there was nothing for them. There was no real sort of way for the church to be on the same wavelength. Even if the church was accepting of them, there was nothing really to engage them musically anyway. Um, mm. And obviously, you know, worship is very tradition. You know, in whatever church you go to, it's, it's it, it stays in tune with the tradition of, of that church. So obviously, Pentecostal, fairly charismatic music. But at the same time, you know, some of us do just want to rock out and and, and praise God in, in the way that we we sort of want to. Um, so I, yeah, I like yourselves, I very much recognise that there's there's a need for it uh, on, on what whatever level, you know, whether what where whatever age that that may be. Yeah, exactly, Matt. Uh, it's encouraging too for uh, here in the U.S. Uh, for fellow Christians who are into the heavy music scene because, uh, like you know, Matt, you and I were talking off the air for the show that I discovered Meltdown through just perusing. Uh, it might have been the Christian Metal Realm forum on Facebook or one of the other ones mm-hmm. that, that I frequent quite often. Yep. And I saw your post and you made reference to Meltdown. I said, what is what is Meltdown? I, I didn't know what it was. So I clicked on your profile and checked it out. I was like, oh, okay, this is really cool. You know, this is something that, wow. Yeah, and because here in the U.S., we don't hear that much about uh, evangelical outreaches and things of that nature over in Europe or even the U.K. in, in particular. So it, it really intrigued me because I know those things happen over there. You guys have all kinds of things going on that we don't hear about here in the U.S. So I said, well, you know what? I want to I want to expose our audience to this great thing you guys have called Meltdown over there. It's a great outreach, a great ministry. And, you know, me and Mike here at Beyond the Rift fully uh, endorse and believe what you guys are all about and what you're doing with this. So uh, it, it was encouraging for me as a, as a metal fan and as a believer to uh, to read about what a great work you guys are doing over there. Yeah, that's that's great. We really appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, it's um, it, it's something that uh, as, as soon as I you know was into that music and then started going back to church, it was a case of uh, I, I was looking for something like that. I mean, obviously, I knew everything that was going on in the U.S. I heard of Scream the Prayer Tour and and Cornerstone and all these amazing things that were going on where I could combine my you know I could combine my faith with the music that I loved and uh, and that was something that I was really itching for over here. Um, and I really felt that God gave me um, a vision and, and want, you know, and was asking me because I didn't know anyone else that really wanted to was as passionate about both those things together as, as I was, other than a couple of my friends. And uh, 
And so it was a real struggle to find anything in the UK where um, where there was anything like that with you know music and church together. And it was it was it was really tough. Um, and one of my friends had uh, Dave Williams's contact. So um, it was a real struggle actually to get hold of Dave. I tried to get through him. We have a, what's called Mid Staffs Youth Net. Staff Staffs being Staffordshire, which is the area that I'm from, um, and and that proved really difficult to get Dave's contacts through them. But eventually, I did manage to get hold of him. And um, and as soon as as soon as I learned about it, I had some really big expectations of what it might be because um, I had heard some cool things. But I was quite surprised that it it still. I mean, Meltdown's still really small. And the vision that God gave me was really something quite big. Um, and so I thought, well, th- you know, this is better than nothing. The fact that there's actually something out there that I hadn't, you know, that that, that e- even slightly resembled anything like Scream the Prayer or, or Cornerstone. And, and by no means is Meltdown at that stage right now. But I definitely feel that the time is, is very, very close where God's going to start to make Meltdown grow. Um, and we've had some great support from uh, UCB. United Christian Broadcasters, they've put in a nice uh, advertisement for us in their youth magazine for this uh, this quarter. Um, so it's it's really cool for me now to be a part of something that's that's starting to grow, um, even even if it's very gradual. Um, because it would be, it'll be awesome if you know if 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 and I'm sure it will, uh, God willing, that the meltdown will grow into something is as talked about as everything that's going on in the USA. Now, can you tell us a little bit uh, about this year's meltdown? Uh, it's in May. Um... Who are uh, I think you have you have a great guest speaker lined up and what about the yeah. entertainment? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, well, last year's meltdown was really cool. We had Mike Reynolds from Four Today. Um, that was last year. He was our guest speaker. Um, he's now their ex guitarist. But this year we've uh, got something just as exciting. We've got Eric Gregson, the guitarist from Sleeping Giant, who are making huge waves over in America right now, and they've actually. Um, Sleeping Giant were a part of a, a new documentary coming out over in, uh, I think it's either Canada or the US, called Christ Corps. Big documentary about some about the movement that's going on down there, um, which Eric is featured in. So he's our guest speaker for the weekend. We've also got um, the uh, singer from Malachi, which is a pop punk band here in the UK, Christian pop punk band, and they are absolutely awesome. Uh, they're 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 making quite a few ripples over here as well. So he uh, he's uh, Alex Grieg, sorry, is his name. Alex Grieg's a singer from Malachi. He's the other guest speaker. The other bands we've got lined up for the weekend are uh, obviously for Christ's sake, who we'll be hearing from shortly. We will get Mark, a bassist. Um, really can, can look looking forward to hearing what he's got to say. Yeah. Um, for Christ's sake, um, we've also got a new a couple of new bands. Actually, we've got more new upcoming bands. On this year's lineup than ever before, we've got Ace and Raven from uh, from Wales. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Draw, who are good friends of mine. They're a two piece um, like hardcore band. They're really cool. Um, we have wow, top of my head, I really can't think now. <laughs> Ambassadors of Shalom, another punk band. We've oh got, yeah, good good band, yeah. Yeah, Ambassadors of Shalom. Uh, we've got Conduit, of course. Conduit, uh, another band that have played some awesome shows in the UK, supporting the likes of uh, O oh Sleeper. Really big band in America. They came over and did a UK tour, and uh, Conduit were able to get on one of their shows. Um, flipping heck, who are we? Who are we missing now? Saving Strike as well. They're a really fun band. They're like a a rap pop punk band. Um, they're really cool. I really hope I haven't missed anybody off. Apologies to anyone I have, but we've got a really great lineup. Very varied this year. From obviously from really thrashy, dark. Well, I say dark music. Uh, from for Christ's sake, not really dark, but um, but yeah, we've got a, a whole massive vary of, uh, of genre this year and it's gonna be such great fun well, that's a very healthy lineup of bands right there a little bit of uh, uh variety and something for everyone if you like heavy music in any variety there's a band that you're gonna like at uh, meltdown this year so uh yeah absolutely uh, that's fantastic now uh meltdown happens only once a year is that right or will there be, yeah. maybe be a meltdown later in the fall possibly too yeah, it's uh, it's it's always been uh, just a, an annual event once a year. Um, I, whether or not Dave's planning on maybe maybe uh, changing things up a little bit, I'm not too sure. I couldn't I can't confirm anything like that. But um, at the moment, it's just a, a one once a year event, um, and it's definitely something that if you're into any kind of alternative music, whether it's pop punk, hardcore, death metal, anything like that, anything that's you wouldn't necessarily find in your church, then uh, it's definitely the place to go in the UK. Um, there's there's nothing else really like it. Um, it's the whole weekend, Friday to Sunday. And it's got everything that you're going to need. It's got a great teaching. It's got communion. It's got fellowship. There's, we always have fun stuff. Like we have a, an auction with some crazy stuff. In fact, last year, 
um, there was an in the auction um, the singer. Oh, there's another one as well. Back Pocket Profit. They're a really cool band. They're a very fun band. Um, classic sort of thrash metal band. Um, the they're doing an acoustic set, I believe, this year. But uh, their singer auctioned off his armpit hair um, to wax, which I actually won. <laughs> I actually won that auction. So uh, this year I'll be uh, claiming Dan Random's uh, armpit hair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's got to be the most unique thing I've heard auctioned off, man. <laughs> it raised a fair amount of money, let's put it that way. I, uh, I definitely wanted to be the one to uh, wax off. He's a big dude as well. He's a really big guy. Oh, wow. Um, it would be fun to see him uh, maybe squeal a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow. Exactly. Well, uh, uh, Matt, if you will, too, uh, you know, obviously you're a, you're a fan of heavy music, so tell the audience about uh, uh, some of the bands that uh, that you like and some of the bands that maybe influenced you with... Uh, you know, doing the meltdown thing, and uh, oh. some of your favorite uh, mainstream and Christian bands, both. Yeah, sure thing. I mean, I'm a, I'm a vocalist myself, and the first band that really got me into screaming um, was Atreyu um, from Orange County. Um, they, uh, the first time I heard one of their tracks uh, on TV, um, completely blew me away. I was never really into screaming. I thought it was a little bit, uh, a little bit silly. But then they combined singing with screaming and some cool solos. So Atreyu, definitely, probably one of my all-time favorite bands. Um, at the moment, I'm really digging for today. They are, to me, they are the epitome of a Christian ministry band. They're just doing everything right. Um, they're reaching out to people. They've got the hardness and the, you know, they they hit hard with their with their message and their music. So for today, my favorite band right now. Also digging um, August Burns Red. Uh, gosh, who else, man? Um, secular, I guess, like mainstream stuff. I really into Partway Drive. I went to go see the Ghost Inside um, the other night, supported by a British band called Bury Tomorrow, who are a really cool band. Um, I'm into loads of stuff. It's mainly mainly the hardcore kind of stuff, I guess. But I'm really into absolutely everything. You know, I'll I'll go to a concert and uh, yeah, it, it's I'm, I've got quite a varied taste of music. Right now, I'm actually digging um just a, a guy who plays just uh, from the uh, I guess he's from the, the 70s. His name's Rodriguez. They made a they made a uh, a documentary about him called Searching for Sugar Man. But that's completely secular music. But that's not even heavy. That's just like folk Bob Dylan sort of stuff. So mm. I've got a big very taste of music but i've got to say right now my favorite band's got to be for today easily <laughs> yeah they're making some waves man they really are in the in the mainstream scene there's a uh there's a radio show here out of houston uh that's broadcast once a week a mainstream uh it's a uh oh they play uh thrash death grindcore black metal type stuff you know and uh, yeah. uh and they're not really big on playing christian bands but they said well folks uh this band really is not really to our liking because they're a Christian band, but because the song is so good, we got to play it. And they played uh, one of the new tracks off for today off the Immortal album. So that was uh, that yeah. was pretty impressive that a show really that doesn't really care for Christian artists was compelled to play for today because the song's just that good. So and which is it, that's the key, you know. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I definitely think there's a there's a, there's a place for every Christian band. Um, I I definitely. Don't necessarily believe that every band is called to be as big as they are, uh, as they maybe would like to be. But uh, yeah. it's definitely very exciting when a Christian band really is top quality professional stuff. Do you know what I mean? And bands like Four Today, they they rip it so hard, and it's just really exciting to see. Yeah, we're seeing a, a bit of a uh, renaissance again with Christian metal, akin to what we saw back in the uh, the late eighties, early nineties with bands like. Oh, Deliverance, Mortification, Vengeance Rising, uh, Tourniquet, yeah. uh, band, uh, you know, even White Cross, Second Warrior, bands like that, uh, Baron Cross. You know, today, if you turn on XM Radio or um, you go to watch Headbangers Ball on MTV on the web, let's say Azalea Dying, Devil Wars Prada, Impending Doom, bands like that, Demon Hunter, get regular rotation. Uh, yeah. All these mainstream uh, radio shows and, and video shows, and so... Uh, it's it's because the the quality of their music is such that it, it garners that kind of attention that they're up there with their mainstream counterparts as good in most cases I think even better. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's it's it is so encouraging to see that that they're being recognized and accepted by non-Christian uh, labels, but uh, you know uh, other bands, other TV stations. I mean, I went to go see the Ghost Inside. Um, a few nights ago, as I said, and they're really good friends for today. And they're not a Christian band, but they're really good friends with for today. And they even stuck by them through. I don't know if you're aware of any of the fiasco that happened with um with their guitarist Mike and tweets and all sorts, and it did kick off a little bit. But they stuck by them, and and it was really cool to see a non-Christian band sticking by a Christian band in in times of trouble and stuff. And it, it's so encouraging. 
It is, yeah. And of course, those guys just went through a a tough time too about a week before that with all their uh, their gear. Oh, uh, that's being, so, that was really horrible to hear. That's so yeah, yeah. That was messed up, man. But uh, hey, you know, uh, uh, the things that the devil means for harm, God can mean for good. So um, it's okay, man. You know, we just uh, we come across these landmines and in, uh, in, in life, and just. Uh, uh, God, you know, God just threw the minefield, so to speak, you know, and so uh, that's that's a great testimony, great story right there. For well, sure. Uh, uh, Matt, we've got about, oh, two or three minutes left to go in your interview, so uh, take this time to uh, talk to the audience about Meltdown and, and your wishes uh, for all of our fans today on Beyond the Rift. Cool. Uh, well, yeah, I just want to invite everybody um, to add the uh, Meltdown page. Um, go to www.meltdownmusic.co.uk. You can find all the information about Meltdown on there. You can book tickets through that. You can add our page. Even if you can't uh, attend Meltdown this year, just check us out. Um, to anybody listening who wouldn't necessarily necessarily subscribe to the Christian um, category, um, you know, Meltdown is a great place for live music. You can take part in as much or as little as you like. It's a really friendly place to be. Um, it's just a great weekend away. Um, so check it out. Uh, I definitely encourage everyone to sort of see what Meltdown is all about. It's something that you can only really fully understand once you've been there. Um, and, you know, just reading about it doesn't really give the, the actual retreat any justice. Um, it is more of a retreat, retreat rather than a festival right now, but we're hoping to grow. So any prayers for Meltdown that you feel that you could give, we really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I just encourage everyone to check it out. We're, we're doing something that, that I fully believe in that I'm devoting a lot of time into at the moment in my life I definitely feel that God's called me there so um I wouldn't be putting as much time and effort into something if I didn't believe it was worthwhile so um yeah thank you for having me I really appreciate yeah. it yeah and uh I mentioned it was in May but I can't remember the exact date what's the what's the dates in May of course yeah it's the 17th to the 19th of May um so okay. put that it's in, in Wales way. it's in Wales yeah at the Kevin Lee Center all the information is on the uh, on the okay. website very cool man well, Matt, we want to thank you for being a part of Beyond the Rift, and we know you're tired. It's, uh, you know, you're six hours ahead of us here in Texas, there in, in the UK. So, well, uh, we know you're tired, and it's, uh, it's eleven cool. o'clock p.m. You're ready for for bedtime, so uh, we don't want to hold you up anymore. And we <laughs> That's cool, thank man. you for. Oh, no problem. We thank you for being a part of Beyond the Rift today. Thank you for having me. It's been a real pleasure, man. Hope to speak to you soon. You good? Well, stay in touch, and uh, you know, Mike Pope and I would uh, talk to you again in the future at some point. Okay. Fantastic. Take care, guys. Okay, God you bless too. you, man. All right. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Good deal. Great, awesome. uh, great guy, folks. I'm Matt McKay from the UK's Meltdown Retreat. Good stuff. And, uh, wow. You know, it's cool to hear stories like that. That You know, mm -hmm. here in America, as Christians, we have a somewhat Americanized view of Christianity. We kind of look, you know, we kind of keep things in a box and view it through American eyes only. But, you know, the gospel is worldwide. There are believers all over the world. Mm -hmm. And it, it, there are believers in some of the most ungodly countries in the world. You know, right. uh, sometimes countries are plagued with bad leadership but have great people, you know, and people who, you know, trust and live for Christ. And it's really cool to hear uh, these stories of these ministries and and uh, the things that God's doing. You know, we tend to look at what's God doing in America. Well, you know, it's like our good friend, Doug Dutris from Fear God, you know, uh, you know, God bless the world, not just America. You know, exactly. the title of his new album, I love that. God bless the world, yeah. not just America. I that love that, cool. man. Um, oh, one thing, uh, too, uh, talking about Meltdown, I, I think I mentioned it to you this morning. Uh, I'd seen a post that Dave Williams had made. Uh, one of the, I think he was the first speaker at, I guess, the first Meltdown, a guy named Barry Taylor. He was a sound engineer for ACDC. And this is like around the late 70s, I guess back when Bon Scott was still with them, uh, before Bon Scott died. And, of course, you know how huge ACDC was getting towards the late 70s. Yeah. And, uh, but he, he had a revelation, and he found, he found God, and he, you know, he, just, he just got tired of the, the sex and drugs that went along with being with a band like ACDC. So, so he left. You know, and gave his life to Christ and, um, you know, probably probably left a very successful venture. Oh, yeah. But, you know, that that's what people do when they they hear that higher calling. They they leave behind the ways of the world. That's right. So man. Uh, I just I thought that was pretty fascinating. Uh, you know, and it's just it's just so cool that uh, the caliber of speakers they get and uh, the entertainment they get. So 
uh, definitely wish Matt and Dave um, all the best for this year's meltdown. Hope you have a. I hope the weekend just goes really great, and that you have many more meltdowns uh, to come. So yeah. Oh just, man, it's a great thing. Uh, a great ministry. Really is a very cool, folks, and. Uh, that knocks out our first hour here on Beyond the Rift this afternoon on blogtalkradio.com. We want to thank all of our thousands of listeners listening worldwide live to Beyond the Rift right now. And uh, it's now time for hour number two and our featured guest.